Have you wanted to be a big game developer, but you never ever got a single visit on your game? Have you wanted to be this big, giant, huge game that is getting 100 active players, but you just couldn't even get one? Well, little Timmy, let me tell you something. Today, I interviewed four of the biggest Slap Battles games, pretty much, and I asked him one simple question. How did their game become huge? And today, I will give you the answers on exactly what they said. So make sure to watch till the end of the video if you want to make a viral Slap Battles fan made game hello ladies and gentlemen i am patriot for life one and today i am going to be your host on showing you exactly how these people became huge they all started with a single visit just like you but then they worked their way up to now 100 active players so possibly more than 3 million visits today i'm going to be interviewing the developers and telling you exactly how they became popular if you want to see more videos like this make sure to subscribe and like the video let me know down in the comments what questions you guys have and with that being said let's get right into it so the first person i interviewed i asked nico which was a man who created Slab Battles V. And well, I asked him uh, how his game became huge popular and basically he had a YouTube channel so that helped a lot because when people watch his videos then they would go check it out for themselves. Kind of like self-advertising. He also hosted a lot of tournaments and events so people could interact and have fun playing the game. So there you have it guys. That is a great way to get a lot of people to play your game. First of all, you can have a big YouTube channel that'll help a lot obviously. But one of the biggest ways is to have an interactive game that has the tournaments that is active so people actually know if there's even developers working on the game the next person i interviewed was a developer for the game slab battles tower defense not our version of slab Battles tower defense but another version so basically he works on a game with almost 50 active players right now in over 3 million visits basically then he talks about how it was pretty much just came out of nowhere i don't know the main cause of it so basically he doesn't know how the game became huge but he does know that they made a lot of updates on this game till it finally just hit the next person i'm going to be interviewing is mohawk man basically he said this a while back so he, it's not really an interview that i interviewed him it's basically just him telling me what he did to make his game and how it is great because of it so basically he said the game isn't pay to win game passes are balanced and i don't know if you guys know this but obviously people like balanced games if the game is all about robux toilet tower defense is a great way to explain this the game is pretty much robux based if you get a robux game pass and you basically can easily beat the game so that is a great way to explain it you don't want games that are pay to win which basically you pay to literally win the game like i just said also they stopped adding gloves in order to make a, the game as good as possible so basically they actually spend time on their updates and that is how the game is good people would rather have a good game that takes time to make than a game that updates every single day but it's trash lots of content with the big map so basically you can do a lot of stuff in this huge map that they have it's not just the circle map or something it's huge it's it's got a lot of things to do it has a welcoming community i don't know about you guys but i would rather join a game that has a welcoming community than a game that has an unwelcoming community now let me give you a tip of my own people like bob rob and larry those characters even pim so if you're gonna make a game you probably want to add them to it maybe you want to make a game that's unique called like bob simulator rob simulator something like that that's really unique and make sure to spend a lot of time on the game and like mohawk man said don't make it pay to win no one's gonna play that it's gonna make it super unbalanced also you want to have a welcoming community of course so make sure you guys welcome the players who join and join your discord or whatever you have that um represents the community like nico said it would also be easier if you had a youtube channel so if you have a youtube channel congratulations you can maybe promote your game on a lot of videos on your youtube channel that would help a ton because then people would watch your youtube channel and see oh my gosh that game actually looks pretty good let me play it really quick and then they would like it probably and also of course one of the main reasons is luck okay roblox their algorithm is really weird just like youtube's algorithm it's a lot about luck too at least 20 percent is about luck if your game's gonna go viral or not so make sure you guys uh get lucky i guess i don't know thank you so much for watching let me know down in the comments if you guys want to see more videos like this and i will definitely definitely make more videos like this and let me know down in the comments if you guys have any questions and i'll try to answer it and with that being said thank you so much for watching best of luck if you guys are going to make a game or if you might in the future and with that being said thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one peace